There's also just so the, the game's just so it's just so crazy. Yeah. It's just so nuts. Yeah. It's so crazy that we can see uh, two different Fox Peach sets, and it literally looks like different characters, different games. Yeah. The movement. I actually think that uh, the movement is what makes the 20XX computer so crazy. I think the 20XX computer taught us all a lot. Yeah. Like it just taught us like first of all how much more we got, how much more room we have. Mm. There's so much more we can do. Yeah. But anyway, Boba Fett, love that name, versus... That's a great name. Is that yes, Eval. Eval. Is that Eval Team is Esper? As, uh, it could be. You no, know, my eyesight is not great, actually. I think that's an R. I'm pretty sure but it's an R. But point is, uh, Eval is a top player from the Caribbean. Mm. Very, very good player. Um, and he's actually gone, I think, to a few Evos and done well. So, it's nice to see, you know? Yes. Because... Uh, Players like Eval, we don't get to see uh, too, too often mm -hmm. in the States, at mm -hmm. least. Or in the continental U.S. Correct. Um, so. But he's going to have to fight off a bounty hunter with lots of missiles yeah, but to it, continue on in the winner's bracket at Evo. In this matchup, sometimes it you know it boils down to terms versus missiles. Mm. You can argue for day uh, to, to, to your, uh, you know, your uh, face turns blue. Uh, what, what is better, missiles or turnips? And I think it's situational. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, as these things usually are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a strong opinion here. Yeah. But uh, in general, I think that Peach is a far better character. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. I will agree on that. Kind of feels similar when I play against them, you know, where they're like crotch cancel heavy and like very, very damaging on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, but it just feels like Peach, at least versus Fast Fallers, has like better kind of follow ups. Yeah. Oh. Good Nair. Wow, that actually hits super hard. Yeah. The DI was slightly off. Just gives away his charge shot. Peace which, out. Which is really important for Samus in, in the floaty matchups. Yeah. Because that's 25 damage. And uh, potentially a KO move. Yeah. I mean, both that might might also be nervous. This is a huge stage. Uh, you know, right. I've when I played on the Evo stage, even in my old age as a smasher, I was very, very nervous. So right. totally reasonable. I have seen him... Do some shaky things like run off the stage and go under battlefield and not get back. Ooh, sniped! Whereas Eval, I do think he's been on the Evo stage a few times, so he might be a little bit more used to it. Can I tell you about? I have some forbidden knowledge from Scarmada days about that snipe. Can I tell you have how the Scarmada days ever ended? Uh, good question. Probably not. Okay. But uh, can I tell you how he got that snipe? Yes. He pressed down B and then hit forward on the C stick and just hopes. It works a lot. <laughs> Dude, it works so much. It's actually weird. <laughs> I just got grab turnips and throw them, and they hit a lot. Dude, it's got a big hit hitbox. Uh-huh. And a great angle, right, where it just kind of... Samus' upbeat definitely not... Like, once you pick the direction you go, you can't really change your mind. Yeah. So when you upbeat to the right, you can't... After you see, oh, damn, I went a little bit too far to the right, you can't really bring it back. Mm -hmm. She does not have great drift control no. after her upbeat. So Eval then takes the game, takes game one, mm -hmm. um, you know, proving what we said earlier that uh, was a very solid player. I actually saw. Uh, oh wow! Wow. Battle of the down smashes. Samus is one. Uh, in my uh, previous block, I saw a game of uh, XL zeros, and mm. I was so impressed. XL zero, of course, the Peach player who shocked us all by beating Cactuar at one of the and Evos. And Pew Pew also. Mm, yes. So. It looks like uh, our good friend Frederick Lamar has Frederick brought Lamar. you. My God. Has brought you a tall order of coffee, in place of. What a hero. Toaf, who approximately 30 minutes ago when our block started. Yes. You gave him twenty dollars, which is a fifteen dollar finder's fee. Yes. But and he, then never came back. Yes, he has he not took returned. The, he took the twenty dollars. He's got the twenty. <laughs> Do you want to hear the funniest part of that? For, for those of you who don't know the story about Ashcon, please forgive this. But uh, I asked Ashcon to do the same thing. I offered him 20 bucks, and he said, Scar, no. No, you will not do this to me again. <laughs> and I was, like, okay, Ashcon. I was like, all right, Ashcon, you're right, you're right. I was like, I was like, Ashcon, here's 20 bucks. Just get a coffee for me. You can keep the rest. He yes. was like, absolutely not. So then you Nothing is worth it. So then it. you gave it to Tove. Yeah. Tove said, okay, can I keep the 20? Long story short, I'm out a lot of money for one cup of coffee. You spent $40 for this cup of coffee. I definitely did. But, uh, you know, every once in a while, if you're grumpy, if you're tired, mm -hmm. the melee energy keeps me alive. Ooh. Mm -hmm. See, okay, and I've actually tried to do that. That is impossible. I just have the to tell bomber? you, Blur, it is impossible. You have to go so fast. 
Is that it the looks You just have to press the B button at the right oh, time. I mean, you have to do it. The, yeah, you have to do it before she falls down. It's way harder Dude, than it looks. How do you gain height? You can gain height. Yeah, but you saw what Eval did, who obviously has played more Peach than I. Oh my God, so much. You just have to time it right. Okay, well it's impossible. It's a I agree. It's I think that it's a combination of timing and spacing. Where if you're too close to the thing, it won't work. But if you're too far, it won't work. It's really, really hard. Yeah. Both fed. Dropping stocks like flies. Samus, uh, as a character, I think both of these characters are very high durability, very high survivability. So one thing I noticed is that uh, Boba Fett is a bounty hunter, and so is Samus. I know. So that's kind of that's yeah. kind of cool. You're right. That is awesome. That makes the tag even better. Yeah. I, did, I didn't pick up on that, but uh, th that was the weirdest Samus Peach game I've ever seen in my life. Yes. That honestly was the weirdest game I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Where even Eval was recovering with up Uppy. So Peach... Number one has a float. She basically she can literally fly, right? Right. Number two, she has a parasol, and when she parasols, uh, like every other character in melee, they jump and then they start falling. When right. you have, when she has a parasol out, she goes like at an angle, so she re she can recover. If she doesn't die basically all the time. Mm -hmm. So he was at seventy, got hit, went this way, and just didn't up B above the stage and just died off the. <laughs> Why did that happen? I I like honestly, I'm confused. You know. We're going to show a quick video for Control of Chaos right now. You're not going to clear up my confusion? That, well, that's you. Who cares about what Bobby Scar thinks? Let's just uh, talk about controller. What was Controllers. It? <laughs> um, they're nice controllers. They're probably awesome. 